In the next five days, I'll be only eating anti-aging meals. Morning, lunch, dinner, the same exact item. Now you may be wondering, what exactly are anti-aging meals? Well, I guess we'll have to start with this man right here. His name is Brian Johnson, a multi-millionaire who tore his body to shreds because of work in his early years. Now that he is successful and middle-aged, he wanted his health back by spending $2 million each year on a strict health regime. The anti-aging meal was one of his creations, boasting that eating this can actually reduce your aging. I wanted to know if this was actually true. So in the next five days, I'll be only eating this meal to see what effect it actually has on my health. But before we start, we need a current reference for my health well-being, which is why I went to Shoppers to get my blood pressure tested. So currently we're at a very normal blood pressure, but we want it to be optimal. And then I went back home to test out how much exactly I weighed. Now that is pretty light. With those statistics, now it's time for us to prepare our supplies. After we bought everything, day one officially begins. So these are basically all the ingredients we need to make anti-aging meals. Fresh dose of cauliflower stock. Hemp seeds. I've already opened them because uh, I was eating them before. Cauliflower. Random condiments that I bought. And some ginger and garlic. Alright, let's go start preparing this stuff. I proceeded to follow the video put out by Brian Johnson on how to create his anti-aging meal. What I realized was that I have never prepared this much vegetable for one singular meal. Kind of just shows my regular diet, which is mostly meat. So the biggest challenge of this whole endeavor is the lack of actual meat. As a man who is growing, I need some protein for my muscles, right? The only protein that are uh, a part of this meal are from the black beans that are part of the base. But that's not the same as a steak, right? So that's gonna be really tough for me, I think. I've never gone long periods of time without eating meat. <sighs> it's gonna suck. I then proceeded to scoop out the bean base, which I already cooked from last night, and then topped it off with vegetables. So we got our first ever bowl of super wedgie. Look at that, ha ha ha. It looks boring as hell. That's why we're gonna add some apple cider vinegar. Oh my God, this thing is putrid. Oh jeez. And the uh, chopped garlic and the ginger that we had. You throw it on. You throw it on. A tablespoon of cumin, which I have no idea how much a tablespoon is, so I'm not even gonna measure it. I'm just gonna wing it. And last but not least, we're gonna top it off with some extra virgin olive oil. This one has garlic inside. There we go. And there we have it, our first bowl of uh, super veggie. Not gonna lie, like kinda, kinda too healthy for me. <laughs> Time to take our first bite. This is so, this is so, <laughs> so nasty. There's no taste to this, oh my god. But I was determined to see these five days out. All right, we are done. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I am missing uh, protein already, especially beef, chicken, pork a little bit, lamb, not so much. This is gonna be tough. So I do feel like I'm getting more and more hungry and I think I have a hypothesis on why. It's because the intake of calorie isn't as much as the one that I, you know, I'm used to. You know, I'm used to meat, you know, oil, freaking sodium, bam, sugar, blah, blah, blah. And now it's just broccoli, uh, cauliflower, a bunch of vegan bullshit. <laughs> it's been like, what, like three, four hours? And I'm like really hungry now. So I'm thinking of just like, you know, increasing like each meal, the amount I put in for each meal, a bit more broccoli, a bit more cauliflower. I don't need to follow the whole holy gospel of Brian Johnson. The guy is clearly mentally insane and he's starting a cult. This is a video of him called, uh, how am I de-aging my eggplant? So yeah, please don't be another one of those Jonestown shenanigans again because oh my god, we lost a lot of people that time. I woke up a little late today, so today we're gonna only eat two meals. This is me preparing for my dinner. And by the tone of my voice, you can probably tell how excited I actually am. Okay, so I think my second attempt at this looks so much better. It actually looks like sort of delectable. Let's go back to my room and let's eat it. Cheers, everybody. The only flavoring that really shines through out of everything was the cumin. Otherwise, all I taste is just the browniness from the broccoli and cauliflower. Oh my god, that's a lot of beers. Mm. Hopefully it doesn't screw up my digestive tracts. Day two began and the first thing I did was to go and weigh myself. I was only 0.3 kg heavier than before. I then proceeded to make my breakfast. I had a few vegetables left over from last night and also the black beans from the big pot. So preparing it was actually quite easy. 
就这些事。Afterwards, I went to my school because I have a midterm coming up and I gotta study for it. I don't know how easy it is to see this, but I've got a piece of black bean right there that's stuck in between my teeth. I can't get that out. The problem was with this dish just keeps on getting worse. And so I found myself a random classroom and began study. After a while, when I got to lunchtime, I decided to eat my lunch, which I already packed. God damn it! I forgot a fork. Shit. <laughs> Now that I have a utensil, I can actually eat. But deep down inside, I am regretting my decision of starting this. I really question myself if I was actually going to continue this for four more days. At dinner time, I thought it would be a good idea to cut up all the vegetables that I already bought and put them in one stew and just freeze them for later because I think that's the most efficient way of doing things. All right, check it out, guys. I'm pretty sure these will cover up、uh, all the. Veggies that I need for the next maybe like two days. So for dinner, I went back to my room and edited the footage I had for yesterday. It's funny because you can hear my screams of agony. This is legitimately torture. But that is exactly what I have to do to prevail for mankind, one spoonful after another. Slowly but surely, we shall succeed. It's day three, and we're here for the daily weigh-in. I have lost one kg, meaning that I've burned seven thousand and seven hundred calories. Okay, so that is the lightest I've been in the past six months. I guess the effect is、uh, working, right? <laughs> I was missing my breakfast again because I wasn't that hungry, and going directly towards packing lunch. Today, my friend wanted me to help him film for TikTok. Yay! I can't believe it. But anyways, we headed downtown, and he just had to visit a Seven Eleven for drinks. Got a water, but look at these. Oh my God!、I I am missing protein. <laughs> I want to eat this so much, damn, bruh, bruh. Are you serious? Yeah, I am pretty sure this guy wants to just make me as hungry as possible. Yeah, he bought a box of chicken wing right in front of me while knowing that I was filming for this video. Bro, look at this compared to yours. It's freaking chicken. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god! I cannot watch somebody eat meat in front of me. Oh, it's terrible. So I just had to sit in agony, watch this man eat his delicious wings while I had my super veggie, which tasted like garbage. My friend wanted to film his TikTok scenes at the Central Library, which he thought there was some good backdrops. Not gonna lie, it was pretty awkward for me. But I've noticed that going upstairs or in general doing any strenuous activities made me really tired. This was probably just me burning away the extra calories that I had. So I, walking around. <sighs> I feel really tired, you know. I feel like there's not enough energy or source that are within this meal to keep me going. Afterwards, I went back home to prepare for my dinner. And as I was preparing for the meal, I thought of how hard a life of a vegan would actually be. Because I've had a vegan burger, that thing tastes nothing like the actual deal. And I've got to admit, I have newfound respect for vegans because I certainly can't live that lifestyle. I just finished my dinner, so my stomach is sort of bloated. Um, that might be due to how much beans I'm eating. I've noticed that putting vinegar、uh, within this meal makes it more delicious. So I think I'm going to be putting more vinegar. But I am losing a lot of weight, and I'm really excited to see、uh, how my blood pressure test comes out after this whole experiment is over. It's day four, and I'm happy to be alive. I'm a regular daily weigh-in. I can't believe、no、my eyes on what I saw. What? Wow! There you go. That's some good results, I think. In the span of like three days, I lost two kg, which is pretty insane. For those of you who want to lose weight, I think、uh, I found the best method. Just a little bit of、uh, physical and mental torture. But nothing that doesn't build character. Am I right? <laughs> Afterwards, I went ahead and prepared my breakfast. So I think I've grown to accept my fate.、Uh, eating this will be my life until tomorrow when it ends. But I think I went through all five stages of grief within these couple of days. Been a journey, not gonna lie. But the results do speak for itself. I've lost a lot of weight. I I don't know how exactly I feel because I'm more prone to becoming hungry and tired. But I'm pretty sure that's just because. 
This stuff is not giving me enough energy. After I finished my breakfast, I decided to go back to school for some extra time and study. Oh, I forgot a fucking fork. Now you may be noticing that I'm keeping my daily physical activity to the minimum. I am only doing this because I do not want it to be an extra factor determining my final results. After studying, I went home to prepare for my dinner. Okay, I just came home and look what my parents were eating. Mmm. Are you serious? Oh, I can't smell this. No, no, please, no, no, I can't. It's like a SCP. I can't, I can't get close to it, no. I'm gonna head back to my room. There's traps everywhere. Okay, so we are back with the second last day of dinner. Oh, cannot stress this enough. I cannot wait for this to be over. Let's dig in. I am finally close to ending my suffering. The days of torture will be finally over and my life will be back to where it was normal. Yo, I just woke up. It's the last day of our journey. Uh. So today, when we hit 12 o'clock a.m. at midnight, we're gonna go to the only 24 hour shoppers, get my blood pressure checked, and then I'm gonna start eating. I cannot wait for this thing to end. Okay, we went down like 0.2 kgs. It was a rainy day and it felt like the sky was crying to see me suffer. I ate some breakfast and did some editing, you know, just my daily routine, then lunch, and finally, late at night, dinner. I'm eating these meals really late because I don't really want to eat with my family because their food smells much better than mine and probably tastes too. The time is now. Gotta enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't need to enjoy this. That Brian Johnson guy is absolutely insane. I can guarantee that if he dies, he has a backup plan. He's gonna freeze his entire body in like cryogenesis, just like Walt Disney. All right, boys, final forkful. <laughs> the shackle that bounds our limbs are finally broken. And you know, we're good, we're good, we're good. Let's wait to 12 o'clock and let's get that blood pressure test done. Okay, so it is 11.59 and I am ready. I am all dressed up, I have my contacts on, ready to go as soon as, can you guys see this? As soon as this thing turns 12, any minute now, any second now. Come on, come on, any second now, please. <gasps> oh, let's go. Ooh. There is the shoppers. All right, hopefully they have one. But very good, nice. Okay. Pressure. All right, let's begin. For more information, ask your pharmacist or doctor. What? What the hell? Are you serious? Wait a minute, that does not look right. What? We're gonna do that again. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit a little bit better. Back straight. Back straight. All right, back straight. And this time, the results were more accurate, in a sense that there were no noticeable change from when I started this 5 days ago. So in conclusion, I would say that the super veggie that claims to de-age you does not work. I think if you actually want a de-aging result, you probably have to spend as much as Brian Johnson actually did. And I don't think a lot of normal people can actually afford that, so... Yeah, but it did make me lose weight and I'll give it credit for that. Otherwise, I did not see any noticeable changes, maybe my beard grew a little faster? But that's pretty much it. Thank you guys all for watching. That video right there, I did some like creative sprinkles of uh, horror elements. Um, mostly reference from The Shining, but uh, I thought it would be interesting to have like a little side plot going on with uh, me as like, you know, the main character going crazy. Uh, I, I don't know if you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below. Um, we just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you guys so much for believing in me. Uh, the thousand of you who are willing to see this channel grow, I promise you, 
I will not disappoint. So we're really close to monetization, which is a great part of this whole thing because I get to spend more money on videos and I get more financial stability. More money can come through AdSense, goes back to me, and I know how much money I can actually put forth into creating videos, into creating more spectacular, more interesting videos in the future because this is literally my passion. I just truly can't say this enough that like thank all of you uh, for staying and sticking by me. I will not disappoint you. I love you all and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.